everybody. I'm so excited to show you Terry's office and to reveal my first giveaway. Heather and I have probably lived in about 10 to 15 different houses before, but by far and away, this is the best one. And voila, here we are in Terry's office, the yin to my yang. They're actually matching offices exactly. They have the same cabinets, they have the same type of wood. His is just obviously stained darker, it's more masculine. His curtains are on a very modern silver rod. So the, the fabrics are different, the tone is different. The marble that we used for his fireplace is honed as opposed to polished. You'll notice there's no mantles in this house. Remember, I really do like modern and I've had mantles in, I think, almost all of our houses. And, you know, mantles to me seemed old fashioned. And you have to put something on the mantle and then it gets all tchotchke dinked up. And I wanted clean surfaces. I love these flush mantles. I love that it's modern, it's got the riglet detail, and it takes it up to the ceiling. So your eye just continues up. I just tried to make his a little more luxurious for a man. So no shag rug for Terry. I did a more tailored looking rug with a leather edge to it, but of course still wallpaper on the ceiling. Grass cloth, textured, more masculine, but I think it kind of warms up the room. Sometimes with high ceilings, you don't want to bring them down because high ceilings are great, but you still need kind of a cozy feel in certain rooms, so adding wallpaper definitely adds warmth. The one thing I really love about this house is that although it's very big, it's weirdly very homey. The rooms are big, but they're all rooms that you're really familiar with and you really love, and it's a place you instantly feel at home with. If you took all of the other houses and put them together, this house poops bigger than them. <laughs> but here's the rub. He doesn't use this room. You know why? He's a doctor! He can't perform surgery in here. What is he doing in here? Okay, so we gave him an office so that, I guess we thought for resale, if we ever sell the house someday, that it would be a good thing to have his and her offices. But literally, he never has come in here one time in two years. So now the question is, what's behind Terry's secret tour? Let's go look. Aha! Okay, I'm gonna continue with the tour, but I want to announce the first giveaway. Got any guesses? Coasters. I'm obsessed with coasters. I mean, really, really, really obsessed with coasters. I love them. They're in every single room in this house, except the bathrooms. Because honestly, why would you have a beverage in the bathroom anyway? So you wouldn't need a coaster. But here's what's crazy about the coasters. So you put a coaster down, so you put your glass on the coaster so it doesn't ruin the table. But I was really careful when I picked every surface in this house so that it would be user friendly. So there are no surfaces that you actually can't put a glass down, yet I love my coasters anyway. They're even in the kids' rooms. And they're all different in every room. Different. I love coasters, is that insane? When Jessica and I were doing the finishing touches on the house, we were texting each other pictures of coasters. I mean, literally, it's like the only two people on the planet that would notice all the different coasters are me and Jessica. I could have picked one coaster for the whole house, but no, we wanted a different coaster for every single space. I love a coaster. Isn't that awesome? Subscribe, like, and comment with hashtag coaster contest down below. Okay, it's a bar. I love a bar. We've got glasses, we've got Instahot, we've got filtered water, and of course, <sighs> fancy ice. So here's Terry's bathroom. I did some more of these agate slices and I framed them and I used all different kinds of tiles and marbles to give it a really masculine, but yet still fun kind of feel. We decided to put a full bathroom in here just in case Terry came home from the gym, wanted to take a shower downstairs. I'm mad at him, I kick him out. No, I'm kidding, sort of. 
Of course, there's wallpaper in the bathroom. You know I love my wallpaper. I did something with texture that would work in a bathroom where there's gonna be steam and whatnot. And I just think all together, it, it worked out really nicely. From his office, to his bar, bathroom, to his man cave. This is truly all Terry's area. So I gave him a really comfy couch that he could lie down on and watch television. This really is a very comfortable sofa. So here's the thing with Terry. Terry wanted to sit on everything before we bought it. And I had to explain to him that most furniture stores don't really have all the furniture in them anymore because think about the inventory and the amount of space they'd have to have. So you have to order these things blindly. But when it came to sofas, he was very particular. So we went to Restoration Hardware and he could sit on everything, try out the fill, see how deep he liked it. It was genius. And I have to say, I love mixing up custom pieces with things I can just walk into a store and buy. So I like to mix it up a little bit and buy some things, design some things, and see where it all goes. This is the only room in the house that I have allowed Terry to have these. He calls these the best sound in the world. I call them the most hideous tower ever. But this is his space, so here they live. As far as art goes, Terry loves photography and Roman Johnson is this incredible award-winning photographer and his wife sent me a copy of this picture and I loved it. I totally flipped for it. So I had them blow it up huge and I bought some other pieces. There's another piece on this wall over here and I have one downstairs in the bar, I believe. It, they just come to life. I love the colors, I love the dimension. It's just such beautiful photography and I really think it added so much color to the space. Another incredible feature in this room is the ceiling. I originally was gonna do a hammered metal ceiling in this room and I just couldn't figure it out and it wasn't working out. And we ended up going with these metal squares and some small beams. Wood floor, shag rug, wallpaper. It's kind of like a fancy man cave, but he loves it. So there's that. I think she did a really good job. Like, if you look around, you're like, no, my mom did not make this, but she did. <laughs> like, even the little details, like in the music room, there's a bathroom, and it's cheetah walls. Like, like how do you come up with that stuff? I would say I could do better. Although I knew my wife would build the most fabulous house on the planet, I never actually thought it would be this great. So, the one thing I'm always gonna remember about this house is that I expected my wife to do something really amazing and she exceeded even that. Don't forget about the giveaway. Subscribe, like, and comment with hashtag CoasterContest down below. More than one of you is gonna win.